Hello and welcome. So we have studied about object oriented programming in the last session and we learned what are classes, what are objects, how do we create them, how do we create objects to access the attributes of a class. Now today uh, we are going to learn about constructors, another very very important concept in object oriented, -oriented programming and a very important part of a class. So I will go to replit.com and I'm going to create a new file I will call it as constructors.py and in the main.py I am going to import it so that I can run it directly so I will say import constructors and I am going to comment the earlier statement all right so let us go back to constructors and just to check I am saying print hello from constructors.py and I will save and run and yes I am getting the output so that means this is working fine I will also hide or close the sidebar all right so in Python or in any programming language object oriented programming language constructor is a class function so it is a function inside a class and it uh, it has a in Python it is created using the double underscore symbol all right and then there is a special constructor function called in it underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and parenthesis and this function gets called whenever we create an object of a class so whenever an object is created this function is called by default this constructor function is called by default and using this feature using this functionality we can use this particular function to initialize all the variables right at the time of creation of a object so there may be scenarios where you want that whenever a user creates an object for a class he or she should be forced to provide the value of some variables in a moment I will show you an example so just to add the notes all these notes all the code will be present in the description of this video and also as you do hands-on along with me whenever you face any issues or if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section so we can use this function that is init to initialize all variables at the time of object creation all right now let us see uh, I'll create a class let us say I'll create a class called employee and in this class I'm going to create a function get employee details or I'll just say print emp details and in this function I will get the name of the employee and let's say the ID of the employee and then I will say print emp name and whatever is the name passed to, to this function will get printed and similarly I will say print emp ID and then whatever ID is passed to this function will get printed here all right and now I will create an object for this class so I will say emp1 equals employee and now using emp1 I will call the function print emp details and here I have to pass two parameters name let us say I will say Elvis and the ID I will say 100 so when I run this you can see this is getting printed so I'm passing it here and this is getting printed now if I want due to some certain scenarios if I want that whenever any user creates an object for my class he or she should be forced to give me some variables the value of some variables let us say I want 
that every time an object is created i need to get the value for name and id so for that i can create a constructor that is the init function i will say def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and you can see it is also giving me uh, auto suggestion so this is the function the constructor function and here in the constructor function itself i am getting name and id and because i know that whenever a object will be created for this class employee this function will by default be called and this function is taking two arguments name and id so the user will be forced to give me the values of these two variables as soon as the object is created and in the function i will say self dot name equals name so when we say self this becomes the class variable and we are making it equal to the value of whatever value we get in this name argument of the function so whatever value we get here in this function argument will get stored in this class variable called name you can also use different names but generally we use self and use the same name similarly self dot id equals id now if i do this in the print emp details i do not need to pass this values here i can directly say here self dot name and self dot id okay now if you see here let us say i comment this statement i am just creating a object for this class emp1 and i will save and i will try to run and let us see what happens now so you can see we are getting a error here and here it is saying type error employee dot init missing two required positional arguments name and id that means as soon as i create a object i will have to give the these two parameters and here you can also see it is asking name and id so let us say i give the name john and id 1001 and i can create one more object emp2 and here i am saying this is elena with id 2001 and then i can call the directly call the print emp details function using emp1 and emp2 as well all right let us now save run and check and you can see now we are getting the details so there are scenarios where we can use constructors like this if you try to find some online examples for python constructors you will see a lot of examples and you will see the different uses there are parameterized constructors non parameterized construct constructors and there are a lot of use of constructors so you can check some more examples and uh, in object oriented programming there are a lot of other concepts like inheritance polymorphism etc if you go to my website that is automationstepbystep.com or you can directly also go to the playlist section of my channel but here i have all the playlists on a single page so you can see under the uh programming languages section yes here you can see python master class python in these playlists i have added some more examples for inheritance and other object oriented concepts so you can try these you can check these and you can learn more you can do hands on and then you can also find some online examples and try ha with hands on if you face any questions any issues during any of these sessions you can let me know and i hope this all was very useful thank you for watching and never stop learning